who then does God view as lawless? Who would be lawless today? The answer are those who live a life void of love. For who? For God and Christ, with their whole heart, and for one's neighbor as themselves. Who's lawless? Those who live a life void of love. And we could even have a better answer, maybe. A better answer would be who is lawless? Those who place their own self-interest above the interests of God and neighbor. How about that for a definition? Those who place their own self-interest above the interest of God and neighbor. That's what the First Amendment literally does. It declares that the United States of America is not going to declare Jesus Christ king. Sorry, if you're waiting around for that to happen, it's not going to happen. It's against the law. There shall be no law. Anomia, anomos, no law. It's a trick. Do you think religious liberty pervaded in ancient Israel? Do you think religious liberty is going to pervade the millennium? Do you think there's religious liberty in heaven? Do you? Is religious liberty just something that God wants for everybody? It's a result of the wheat and the tares. We talked about that in our wheat and the tares teaching. But it's not something that God is advocating, and he's certainly not going to have it in the millennium. It's just not going to exist. Religious liberty is the lie that Satan told Eve in the garden. You don't have to believe that, God. You can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. You can think whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You don't need him. And that's exactly what we built today. An entire system today, a tower of Babel that is apart from God, that places self-interest above the interest of God, that places self-interest above the interest of neighbor. And yet we have the audacity to stamp it with a Christian name. Oh, it's toxic and it's going to be judged. And many are deceived by it. To live without God's law is to live without a love of God and others. You know, we read about this in Matthew 7. Jesus clearly says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Does. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and done all of these things in your name? And he says what? Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. These people didn't have love. They didn't love God. They didn't love the neighbor. And how do we know? Because they didn't do the will of the Father. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out our full length video on this topic where we dive much deeper into what the Bible says about the mystery of lawlessness. You can check out that video right here.